Well, I almost couldn't believe it when I took a look at the headline. I mean, a, a, a prominent blue state banning the LGBT pride flag from two of their school districts? Is this real? Well, we're going to dive in and discuss. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you in the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today. Reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And, well, for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> this was probably the last state that I would have expected to see something like this take place. Uh, but it's true. I mean, it got me interested. I was like, I got to read up on this because I'm, I'm sure my, you know, my viewers are going to want to know what's, what's going on with this. And, yeah, uh, two school districts in California, <laughs> of all states, have now banned the LGBT pride flags from flying on campus. Now, let's talk about this first one. This was in the town of Sunol. Now, this is a very small town, okay? Only around 1,000 people live there. Uh, it's located in Alameda County. And the school board there had voted that there would be no pride flags to be displayed anywhere on campus, not just, you know, uh, outside, but also inside the classrooms, basically anywhere. Uh, it would not fly. And there was apparently three school board members, because this is a very small, you know, again, a very small town. Some school boards have more members, uh, but this one only has about three. So two out of the three voted to, yes, ban the flags from being displayed. They don't want any politics. They don't want any of that stuff there. Uh, you know, and again, probably a more conservative area. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't live there. I've never been there, but just my thought. Uh, and, you know, small areas like this, that's what you have to kind of sometimes think. So apparently the backlash against these school board members is so great. The par parents, liberal parents are so outraged by this. I mean, out of all the things to get upset at in the world, right? This is what they're focusing on. They're wanting the two members of the school board who voted to ban the flags, they want them recalled and they want new board members in their place. Well, of course they do because they didn't vote the way that they wanted them to. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the parents are saying, we want to keep our kids home. We don't, our kids aren't going to feel safe on the campus. I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. Good on this on the school here. Again, the Sunol School District. Now, the second one, the second school district was a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to tell you which one that is in just a second. But really quick, though, guys, I need your help in a major way. Now more than ever, I need you to consider making a generous donation to support my ministry here. Uh, my channel is incredibly censored and suppressed. It's, it's actually getting to a point where I really don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to be here on the YT platform, unfortunately. Uh, you take a look at the views on these videos, guys. They're way down. I mean, I am lucky if I can crack 100 views. Uh, the likes are way down. The interactions are way down. You know, I worked hard for seven years to build this platform. Uh, I got 12,500 subs. But again, you would never know it when you take a look at the views on these videos. Some of these videos can't even get 10 likes. I mean, that that makes no sense. You got to know YT has little buttons they hit in the background on channels like mine that they don't like. Uh, and they're never going to let me succeed and get, uh, you know, really these videos out to a wider range of audience, bigger visibility. It'll never happen. So I need to be funded, guys, completely supported by you, my loyal viewers. And here's how you can help me. By the way, any little amount you could do, little or big, whatever you can do helps. Uh, one thing is just simply click the super thanks button down on this video here, which is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Uh, very easy to do from the main video page here. Or consider making a monthly contribution for as little as five bucks a month by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash notbysightnews. That link in the description. When you join up to Patreon, you will get exclusive videos not found on YT. Also, you're going to get the alerts, which again, my suppressed channel is not going to send you all the notifications. Um, just take a look at the views on this video here as you're watching and you'll see how low they are. And I'm sure many of you never got this alert. Uh, you can also comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Now, the second school district was in Temecula, a uh, bigger town, of course. This has over 100,000 people. Uh, but the school board there, uh, in a little bit different, with the wording, it was a little different. They didn't come out and say 
they were banning LGBT pride flags from the school. However, what they did say was that they were banning any and all flags that were not either the American flag or the California state flag. So parents that get you know, a whole bunch that showed up here to the school board meeting and they, they were outraged and just, you know, losing their minds. And they were saying that, well, this was just a clever way of them banning the pride flag without actually saying it. Um, and then you got one parent that went off and was saying that, oh, it's just, it's, you know, this is bias you know, with white evangelicals and Christians. I'm like, wait a minute. Did you not hear what they just passed? The Christian flag can't be flown. That's included. But somehow, some of these parents made this about Christianity and white people. Just ridiculous thing. Again, you can't fly the Christian flag either at this school. Okay? The, or the whole district, really. Only the state flag. Only, only the American flag. That's it. So they're outraged about this as well. They want this change. Again, it's over a flag. These people are completely losing their minds. Look at the other problems that America has. <laughs> this is what they're all flipping out about. Look, I'll tell you what, if you're upset about this, for the parents that are upset, look, you got probably, you got, well, not probably, you do, thousands of other school districts in the state of California that will not only fly that rainbow flag for you, but they will, you know, give you the whole rainbow curriculum for your kids too. I mean, you're in California after all. We're talking two districts here uh, in the entire state uh, that Lisa were reported on this week. So again, you know, it's it's interesting. Again, pretty cool uh, that these two, these two school districts did this. Hopefully they stand their ground. But what do you guys think? That's all I got for you. Really, there's not much else to say about it. Uh, but I want to hear from you. If you're lucky enough to get a comment to go through, um, chime in in the discussion. What I want to do now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's called The Salvation for anybody who has not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior. I never know how many people this is going to reach. Maybe I never get one person saved. Again, we don't get a lot of views on these videos because of the suppression and all that, but we always want to just provide the opportunity just in case. So for anybody watching now, if you've never received Jesus as Lord and Savior, this is your chance. I want to lead you in a prayer to do that now. It's a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you're a sinner. That's something we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link there in the description, or just hit that super thanks button down on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.